All right, Brittley, thank you. Well, Representative Lois Frankel held a press conference today in West Palm Beach to talk about her trip to the U.S.-Mexico border. Vince Norman explains why she's calling some of those detention centers horrifying and eye-opening. A new voice is weighing in on America's immigration crisis. Mothers and fathers who are seeking ref refuge from prosecution, from horrible conditions, extreme danger in neighboring South American countries are being thrown into pr prison cells and their children are being stolen from their arms. Congresswoman Lois Frankel is merely the latest elected official from our area to weigh in on the president's highly contested zero tolerance enforcement policy. To suggest that these are the children, that their, their parents are drug dealers and that are criminals and are somehow you know, coming across the border to try to harm Americans is revolting. When are they going to be reunited? We don't think there is a policy to the contrary. To have in place a policy that could continue to surge these numbers forward, not only will strain our capacity, but I think put the lives of people in danger. Frankel pulled no punches in her assessment of several Border Patrol and ICE facilities she visited along the Texas-Mexico border. What I saw was heartbreaking. Of particular interest, the facility where the mothers of immigrant children are housed in jail-like conditions. This will be etched in my mind forever, as long as I'm alive. Is mother after mother sobbing, sobbing, sobbing uncontrollably uh, as they recounted to us through interpreters how their children were taken from them, some without any warning. According to Congresswoman Frankel, one of the most unfortunate facts about the situation at the border is the fact that there's no clear plan with how to reunite parents with their children. The situation is made more unfortunate by the fact that, in some cases, some of these parents have already been deported back to their countries of origin, leaving their children trapped here in the United States. Vince Norman, WPBS.